Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video tour. Today we are taking a look at the all new 2025 Salem Hemisphere 310 BHI travel trailer here. This is a three slide out bunkhouse travel trailer with a large outdoor kitchen and a lot of great features. And again, a whole new look for 2025. We're gonna take a few minutes here, run you through the inside and outside of this beautiful RV and show you what this thing is all about. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are now up inside the all new 2025 Hemisphere 310BHI travel trailer here. As you've seen on the floor plan, it was up. Front master bedroom, rear bunk room, triple slide out travel trailer here. We're gonna start back here in the back of the RV and then we will kind of work our way around for you and head outside. Then we're gonna come back in also and close it back up for you. So back here in the back section is gonna be the bunk room for the kids. One of your three slides right here. You have the top bunk right there. There's a window back there that opens, has the pull down shade. That top bunk will flip up, giving you more headroom. So when this bed is in sofa mode, like it is now, you could sit up and watch TV and stuff back here. That bed will flip out into almost a queen size bed. You have a matching Leno floor on your slide floor and your main floor. Large window on the back of the RV. Over here, you have quite a bit of shelf space and a drawer down below, and you have a good room area right there in the middle to put your TV and stuff back here. So if you're trapped in here on a rainy day, the kids have something to do, hopefully. You're gonna have the large window up there as well. Little grab handle thing there and a sliding door for privacy. Back out here, you're gonna have your living room and kitchen area. So on the right side here or the door side of the RV, you have your large super slide. And as you can see here, we have a booth dinette in this one with storage underneath that will also make into a bed. You have very large windows overlooking the awning and campsite area. And then you have a theater seat over here, which does have some cup holders in it and also USB charger ports in the middle armrest. That armrest will flip up so you can maybe squeeze a small kit or something in between you there as well. Little island area here, electric outlet on the back side, some toe kick lighting down below. Same thing in these slides here, you have matching Leno on both of these slides. High rise sprayer faucet, large undermount sink. You're gonna have some storage and shelf space underneath of your island as well. You're gonna have that Furion 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt powered refrigerator, freezer on top, refrigerator on bottom, matching Furion microwave, and also matching Furion hood range, light and fan, and Furion oven. That has the glass front, the pull out drawer below, the three burner gas cooktop, and you have some storage and drawer space below there as well. Now, if you followed my channel and seen some of my other hemisphere videos, you'll notice all the color changes and stuff. So flooring's different, furniture colors, countertops, the lights in the ceiling are completely different than last year's model. Those are also dimmable lights, by the way. You have one ducted AC standard, second AC as an option, which this particular one was ordered with the second AC. So you will see what that looks like when we get in there as well very large kind of pantry or closet area here so there can be a lot of stuff crammed in this thing motion light in there as well oh almost forgot you do have kind of a little 
I don't know, coffee bar or whatever you want to set this up as back here as well. There's an electric outlet. There's also prepping for that King Wi-Fi Connect. You can do aftermarket as well. You have some overhead cabinet space here. And then down below here, you're going to have some more cabinet space down here as well. They do put this little advertisement thing in here that kind of shows you a little bit of the VersaBed stuff here. Digital thermostat over here for your main air conditioner and your propane furnace. Now looking right across from your theater seat here, you have a large TV on a swing arm. Shameless plug here, we got the YouTube channel up. If you're interested in keeping up with more videos, please remember to subscribe. We're currently at, uh, looks like 58,400 some odd subscribers and growing. Hopefully we can get to that 100,000 mark. We are looking down below at the 31 inch Greystone fireplace. There's a little bit of shelf space, electric outlet and stuff there. You also have electric box with the breakers and fuses down below. There's a couple JBL speakers in the ceiling as well, as there is a JBL Bluetooth connector here that would allow you to control the inside and outside speakers. Your ceiling light switch with the dimmer here as well. 12 volt tank heaters for cold weather camping, lights, slides, awnings, on-demand water heater controls all right here. Traditional RV entry door and screen door as well. Right here is going to be your bathroom area. Check out the bathroom mirror and stuff. A very nice setup here. Little backlighting things going on. Little storage down below. Room for a trash can down there. Porcelain foot flush toilet. Step in shower. Pull across vinyl door. Skylight up above. There is AC and also heat duct in the bathroom here. You got a little bit of medicine cabinet area over here as well. Going on up into your bedroom area here. There is controls for the VersaTilt bed light switch. As you can see, we got the VersaTilt bed up in the air at the moment. And there is some storage down below here as well. When the bed is up, it gives you more room to kind of maneuver around right here. Got a window over here. This area right here, large closet, has a sliding door to block it off when you're actually set up there. But you also have washer dryer hookups in here as well. So this is kind of cool. You could do a combo washer dryer, a stack washer dryer, or just have a large closet here if you want. There is cable and electric outlet up there on the uh, ceiling. There's a backer in the wall where you could mount you a TV here. <coughs> However, you want to be very, very careful not to go through the wall. So make sure you check your wall thickness. On this model, if I'm not mistaken, I believe you're looking at about an inch and a half thick sidewall. So very important to check it and make sure you don't use too long of screw. You're going to have that optional second AC up top there. You do have, again, hanging closet on each side of the bed here with nice mirrors. There's electric outlet and USB charger ports back there. Then you have the drawer that pull out on each side, and you're going to have overhead cabinet space as well. But a very nice, fairly roomy bedroom feel right now with the bed up. Now, we're going to bring the bed down here, just kind of show you what it looks like. When it comes down, you lose probably, I don't know, I'd say probably eight to 10 inches of walkway, somewhere right in that range. It's still able to get around, but it is definitely easier when the bed is up. And you can see here that front windshield area and access on the sides to get to those electric outlets and USB charger ports. All right, now we are gonna head outside. I wanna show you around the outside of this RV. Then we're gonna come back in and show you what it looks like all closed up. We'll be right back on the outside.
All right, we are now back on the outside of the all new 2025 Hemisphere 310 BHI travel trailer here. We're gonna start here on the door side and kind of work our way around for you. So first things up, they changed the color of the outside. So it has kind of a lighter grayish fiberglass exterior with kind of a dark metal skirting around the bottom area and then a new graphics package as well. So a different look on the outside part here. You have up front here two JBL speakers up high. You're going to notice the FR logo on a lot of Forest River stuff now. They're really pushing the Forest River name onto all of their brands now. You're going to have a motion light, an electric outlet, a nice size pass-through storage compartment. You can see in here that this customer is going with a aftermarket Blue Ox Sway Pro hitch and some stuff in there. Uh, so definitely talk with your salesperson about stuff like that if that interests you. That baggage door right there does have these slam lock baggage doors on it as well. You have the pet friendly leash latch holder over here. Just kind of looking down below here, you can see your spare tire mounted underneath the bottom down there and also the front electric stabilizer jacks. They are using the BAL frame currently, which is a really nice huck bolt frame system. You have the heavy duty more ride entry exit step here. It's rated for 500 pounds, comes down, touches the ground, adjustable feet, flips in the doorway when travel. You got that large folding entry handle there to help you get in and out. Traditional RV entry door and screen door, but it does have the window in it. Two power awnings here with the LED light strips built in close to the body of the RV. They also have manual overrides in the front arm head in case of an electronic failure. And again, adjustable arms so you can adjust it for some water runoff and light rain. If it gets too rainy or too windy, make sure you put it away so you don't lose it. Down below here, you can see we have dual axle unit, aluminum wheels, drum brakes, easy loop hubs. It is a wide stance axle system here, so it is supposed to be more stable traveling down the road. You also have an electric outlet and cable outlet here as well. So you can put your TV outside if you want to on a nice day. And again, you can also see those squared off windows there instead of the traditional radius deep tent safety glass windows. Back here on the back side, you're gonna have a large outside kitchen area right here. There's also electric out, or not electric outlet, but a electric rear stabilizers with the button right here. That little white tag flapping around, that's where you plug in this really nice griddle. You have a metal lower cabinet section here bottle opener, electric outlet, USB charger port, hot and cold outside sink, and a mini fridge here. You're gonna also have some overhead cabinet space here as well. So a pretty decent amount of space. Two motion lights up top there, and your door here kinda acts as an awning on a hopefully a light rainy day if you needed it for that, or just to block out some sun. But again, if it gets too wet and nasty out, make sure you close it up. You're gonna also have, again, that furnace exhausting out right there. Now, one thing I do like here, they did this on a travel trailer, which is a little rare. Uh, we're gonna take a look here in a second at the roof, but you can see how that roof rolls over real nice here, a real nice transition rollover. That is actually a fiberglass roof up there. We'll take a look at that here in a few seconds. Um, but that is a very nice improvement to the construction of the RV. On the back side here, you're gonna have a traditional flat back fiberglass rear end. This thing is prepped in the top center right there for the Furion rear observation camera. Again, nice safety feature to consider adding to the RV. That allows you to see what's going on behind you when you're driving down the road or backing into your campsite. You also are prepped here in the top right for the Lippert portable stow and go ladder, a nice telescoping ladder that you can take with you, use it when you need it, stash it in the storage compartment when you're not needing it. That way you don't have to worry about the kids climbing up, falling off and getting hurt. You're gonna have a cable and satellite inlet right here in case you go somewhere that has that available to you or you maybe get your own portable satellite and bring with you. You're gonna have city water inlet, fresh water fill up and also black tank flush right here. And you have a hot and cold outside utility shower right here as well. 
The dump hose holder is on the back, a little black tube there. And then you also have a two inch hitch receiver back here. Now this is not a towing style hitch. This is strictly meant for like a bike rack or luggage rack kind of thing. It is not meant to tow anything with. Now, up here you can see the customer added slide out awning covers on here as well. Those are very nice to kind of consider doing there. They will basically shade the room, helps repel a lot of water, leaves, twigs, debris, all that type of stuff. Just makes it a little bit easier. One less thing to have to worry about getting up there and sweeping off and stuff uh, if you're leaving the campsite and closing things up. Now let's hop up top here. I wanna show you what the roof actually looks like. All right, so we're up here checking out the roof for you here real quick. Again, this one was ordered with that second air conditioner. So you're seeing that up there in the front bedroom area. You're gonna have some plumbing stack vents, the skylight and the bathroom vent all located kind of in the middle right here. And then your main air conditioner. Again, this was ordered with the one piece fiberglass roof that is standard on a hemisphere instead of a traditional like rubber or TPO roof. So that's a nice improvement on your roof construction here. You have your TV antenna, another plumbing stack vent, and then prepping back here, that little black thing over there, for a solar panel. So it is pre-prepped for solar panel. You can add that as an option from the factory, or you could do it aftermarket yourself or don't do it at all. But again, just kind of looking at the roof, you can obviously see there's a lot of things up here that you have to remember to get up here and maintain your seams and seals. While a fiberglass roof is you know, considered in the business to be a really nice upgrade for an RV, you still have to maintain things. And again, you can see up here that it was ordered with slide out awning covers. Let's head back down. All right, pretty cool looking up there. Not a whole lot of stuff, but you know, you kind of get the idea. You're gonna have again on this side in the lower section, the dump area for that back kitchen. Up above that window right there, you're gonna have your stove exhaust. Detachable 50 amp power cord that stretches out probably somewhere around maybe 30 feet or so. You have the suburban on-demand water heater right here, very nice water heater system. You have your main dump area right here, which has your gray, your galley, and your black all pulling out right there. Step back here so you can see down the whole side a little better. It does have that enclosed underbelly again, and you also have those 12 volt heat pads on your holding tanks for cold weather camping. In here, you got your battery disconnect. Looks like a little crank assist handle as well. You can see some of that aluminum tube framing and stuff there on the bed. Now right here, you're gonna have some very important informational stickers, stuff you need to know and understand here. So right here, we have our production date sticker telling me this RV was built 814 of 24, model number 310 BHI. We have a gross vehicle weight. This is axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined. Do not exceed this number, 11,400 pounds. Again, that is the gross weight, do not exceed that. You're gonna have a dry weight sticker right here telling you the RV with these options rolled off the factory assembly line, 9,821 pounds dry. With an exterior length of 38 feet, eight inches long, Tire size ST225 75R15 E range tires with an 80 PSI cold. And it is very important to make sure you keep up with your tire pressure when traveling with one of these things. Tires can only hold a certain amount of weight at a certain pressure. You let that pressure drop too low, the tire will fail a lot easier. So make sure you keep up with your tire pressure. You are going to have two 20 pound propane tanks on the front with the hard bottle cover, power tongue jack as well, two and five sixteenths hitch ball, heavy duty safety chains, seven way Bargman wiring plug, a lower black metal diamond skirt, uh, skirting there. And you're gonna have the very nice fiberglass front shell with that windshield in it. And also a couple LED light strips kind of coming down off of there. There's room back here for one or two batteries, depending on the size of the batteries that you go with. 
but overall a very nice in my opinion new look for the 2025 salem hemisphere all right we're going to step back inside here i want to show you what it looks like closed up we'll be right back on the inside all right, we are now back up inside the new 2025 Hemisphere 310BHI, and I wanted to show you what it looks like all closed up. So I've already closed up two of our three slides to speed this part up for us. So first things up, the back room area here. So with the slide closed, I could still kind of squeeze in here a little bit and get to some of the cabinetry and stuff and maybe throw some of the kids bedding and stuff in here. They put that sliding door on there instead of a swing door, which kind of made it a little bit easier. Now we got the kitchen slide already in. You can see again, this comes in really close. So you gotta make sure that everything is tidied up nice and tight so you don't accidentally damage a cabinet door or drawer or anything like that. Now obviously there's no slides in front of this doorway area. So if you're stopping at the rest area, you could come in, use the restroom, get to your master bedroom and stuff with no problems whatsoever. Now, when you are ready to close up the big slide, it does kind of block us off from the back section because it's going to come in all the way up to that island there. So you're going to have to climb over the island or the table or something to get back there. Might be easier for a little kid or something like that, but a grown adult probably not going to want to do that. But basically you push the button. These are 12 volt powered slides. They are basically a worm gear rack and pinion slide system here. And it comes up over the main floor a little bit. Very, very important to make sure that your floor is clean before you bring these rooms in so you don't accidentally damage something. But you can see here when it comes all the way in, this is stopping me from getting to the back. So I'm not getting back there at all. But it only takes a few seconds to hit the button, again, right here on your panel, and run it back out. If you're just wanting to run back there and throw something in the refrigerator or something like that, or grab something out of the kids' room, you don't have to open it all the way up just to run back there. So just let off the button, go back, grab what you need to grab, and then close it back up. But very, very simple. And again, make sure your floor is clean. That is super important before you run these things in. Hear that ratchety noise? That's telling me it's all the way out. Let off the button. All right, folks. Thanks a ton for taking the time to watch my RV videos. As always, it is greatly appreciated. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you don't mind helping out my channel. And as always, be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation. Thanks again.